In this worksheet called Large Table VLOOKUP, we're trying to look up a tax rate from a table that's quite large by most people's estimation. The table is from column F over through column M and goes all the way down to row 18. Got well over 100 different answers there. And what we're trying to do is to look up the appropriate tax rate for people whose salaries are in column B and their dependents are listed in column C. So we'll be using a VLOOKUP here and we're first comparing the salary. Now this will not be an exact match, it'll be an approximate match. The salary is in cell B2, comma, and the table in question extends from column F through column M. And once again, as in previous examples, if there's no other data in the columns, it's going to be simpler to use the column references in their entirety. It's a simple display, it's easy to read, you don't have to worry about absolute addresses. The tricky part comes in to the idea of which column will have the answers. And as we look at a person with one dependent, if we look at the table, it's going to come out of column H. Looking into the next record in row three, if you've got three dependents, the answers are going to come out of column J. But what we need to be thinking here is which column number of the table do we need? If a person has one dependent, the column H entries are going to be the source of the answer, but which column is that in the table? If the table begins in column F, then column H is the third column. So if someone has one dependent, then we need to get data from the third column. How about the next person who has three dependents? Which column of the table are we using? Column J. Which numbered column is that as we read from the left? One, two, three, four, five. So it looks as if every time we need a column, it's two greater than the actual number of dependents. If it's one dependent, we get data from the third column. If it's three dependents, we get data from the fifth column. And so what we need to do here to pick up the appropriate column is to take the dependent entry, in this case C2, plus two. And in all other cases, as we look downward and start comparing this list with the number of dependents, the column we need is always two greater than the actual number of dependents. And so if this is all going to be working properly, as we look at this 46,000 here, we'd be looking in row nine for our answers. And because this is one dependent, we should be getting 10.4% here. And that's exactly what we're getting. And looking ahead into the next entry for 56,000 and three dependents, we'd be looking in row 11, three dependents, 8.7%. So we'll double click, and sure enough, we're getting that answer as well. So you can see in these examples, if you're using large tables, you sometimes need additional methods to come up with the answers. And depending upon the nature of the data, sometimes these will be exact matches, sometimes not. But in this case here, we wanted to point out the unusual aspect of a particularly large table, and also perhaps an unusual way of coming up with the appropriate column reference for the VLOOKUP.